guys, what's up? Today's video might be a disaster, at least a portion of it. Because I was standing in my beauty room yesterday and I was looking at this in the package. I had like trailed off in thought and I was like, I wonder what it would look like if all of these pigments were mixed together. Like what color would it create if I mixed them all together? And then I remembered I had this little empty container and then I thought, why don't I try that? Why don't I mix them all together, shake this thing up and then see what color it creates, see what pigment we create. And then I thought I could maybe apply it to my lid. Maybe we can do like a one eyeshadow look. A smoky eye, I'm assuming. I don't know. <laughs> there are so many colors in the range. I have no idea what, what would happen if we mix them all together. So that is what we are doing for today's video. And then because I was afraid that was gonna be an epic fail, I thought I would just combine it with a trying new products video as well. So we're gonna be testing out a bunch of new makeup in today's video, and it's mainly drugstore products. There's only two products in this video that are not affordable, which is my powder, and I'm not trying this out for the first time. It's my hourglass powder. I've used this a thousand times. And my Elsie Lashful Mascara. I've never tried this before, but it's not drugstore. The rest of this stuff is drugstore, so. We're gonna have a nice, juicy, affordable video today. So, okay, how am I gonna do this, how am I gonna do this? I'm thinking I'm gonna do one little mini scoop of each color in here. I wish I had like a tiny little spoon, but I don't. So I'm gonna use this little ColourPop brush. It doesn't have the name, it was like from their first round when they didn't name the brushes. I'm just gonna use this to kind of scoop out the pigment and put it in here and hopefully my measurements are correct. <laughs> hopefully I do everything pretty even. Um, okay, let's do it. So this is what the pigment looks like when you do roughly one scoop, one eyeshadow brush scoop. <laughs> very, very interesting. I had a feeling it was gonna be a dark color. Usually when you mix a bunch of colors together, it turns into like a poopy shade. But this has taken on, I feel like the majority of what you see is that purple. I kind of see that strong purple undertone, but it's very dusty. Because of all the colors mixed in, you see that gold, that white, that blue, that green. It kind of looks like a dusty gray purple with a bunch of colors mixed throughout it. And I think that looks pretty cool. Ooh, I'm getting excited. I'm excited to see how this looks all over my lid. But before I do that, I wanna add some eyeshadows to my crease. And I wanna use the new, I'm pretty sure this is new, the Rose Gold Palette from e.l.f. This is the Sunset one. I don't know if they have another rose gold palette, but this is Sunset. Ooh, let's see how it looks swatched. I, of course, I'm gonna use it wet on the lids because I always use my pigments wet. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus into the little cap right here. And I'm gonna take a little baby scoop of this. Oh my gosh, it looks almost like silvery. It's so weird. I'm gonna mix it up. Oh my gosh. How crazy, okay, no, this is not the color I thought this was gonna create. This is a lot more silvery pewter than I thought. Oh my gosh, this is actually a really gorgeous color. I think we get that silvery tone from the Maiden. Alrighty then. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get started on my face makeup. I'm just gonna add a little clip. I know what you're thinking. Kathleen, you're working with a pigment. Are you sure you don't wanna do your eyes first? Yes, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. So I already have moisturizer on my face and I'm not really gonna prime right now. I'm gonna use this as a primer. This is the Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. I have Nude Glow and Golden Glow. You can get a dewy radiant glow with this weightless mineral-based luminizer. It contains moisturizing hyaluronic acid, brightening rose water, and soothing cucumber wax. Oh, look at you, Milani. I know so many, by the way, the first time I opened this, I was like twirling this, I was like, what's happening? But no, no, you have to pull it off. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do uh, what's new in makeup, like what's good, what's not so good. That video that I did a while ago, I think I did a couple of them. By the way, I'm using Nude Glow. I definitely wanna do 
an updated what's new in makeup video. I just really want to test everything out first before I give you my opinion and my review. So I'm still playing around with a bunch of new releases. Once I get my thoughts together, I will definitely be filming that video for you, which is why I wanted to test out products in this video today. So this gave my face a very subtle glow, very subtle. I feel like I had to use a lot there, but I mean, my skin feels moisturized. I mean, nothing to write home about, but it's nice. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. They sent me four shades. I don't know how many shades they have in this range. Probably not that many because Wet n Wild is terrible with sage, with shade selection. They're such a good brand. I feel like they really need to work on their sage. Oh on their shade selection because their formulas are so good, their products are so good, and I just feel like so many people have a really hard time finding their shade, even me. I always end up having to mix shades. I can't imagine somebody with a deeper skin tone. They could, they probably cannot find anything. So what a wild, come on, let's work on the shade range. But for today, I don't know which color I'm gonna use. I've already used this foundation before and I actually really liked it. It was nice, it was natural. What color did I use? Soft Ivory. To blend that in, I'm gonna be using this brand new Catrice brush I just bought off of the Ulta website. There is no name, but this is what it looks like. It was super affordable. Catrice is a very, very, very affordable brand, and this was super, ow, just, just almost poked my eye out. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. Like I said, the other day I wore this and I did wear it all day and I feel like it did wear pretty nicely throughout the day. It did start to break down pretty soon around my mouth. So it's definitely not the most long wearing foundation stick I have, but it is pretty good for the price. It looks natural on the skin. It has a very buildable coverage. I would say it's kind of sheer medium, but the more you apply, obviously the higher coverage you get. So I definitely think you can take this foundation all the way up to full coverage. And I don't think it's hard to blend out either. It has a pretty nice formula. It's not tacky at all. I actually think it's pretty good. I obviously have to test it out a little bit more, but not too bad. For concealer, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in the shade Vanilla. I've also used this before, but I honestly don't remember how I felt about it. This is very light. I feel like this is a little bit lighter than I go underneath the eyes, or not that it's lighter than I usually go. Maybe it's just that this is so full coverage and matte that it seems like a little bit more stark than usual. This is matte. This is matte and very, very pigmented. A little goes a super long way. Man, a little really does go a long way. I feel like I just put a dot and then it's like blending out forever. So unlike the L'Oreal fresh wear that I absolutely love, I'm not a big fan of the full wear. Honestly, it's not bad and I think if you have oily skin and a lot of problem areas, you might really like this, but it looks dry on my under eyes. It's pretty full coverage and pretty matte. That on my dry skin, it doesn't, it honestly doesn't look the best. I mean, I'm not sure it's something you can really see on camera. Like I said, it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look as nice as other concealers I have. Okay, so I bought this, which is already kind of falling apart. Oh. Yeah, definitely. This felt super loose earlier and I was like, that's about to pop off. And yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be a baking brush. You kind of dip this part into the powder, bake your under eyes, and then you use this part to like dust away the bake. But actually I could use this little part. I didn't think this was gonna work anyway. This is just too stiff and round and pointy to like, yeah, I don't know. This does however remind me of Aladdin. Right? Like, doesn't that look like Princess Jasmine's castle? Like, on the cover of the VHS? I'm not even gonna try to use that baking thing. I'm gonna get my hourglass powder and set my concealer, which this concealer doesn't really need much setting because it's a little bit dry on its own anyway. Ooh, let's see if this adds a little bit of coverage. This is the Positions Formula, the Healthy Powder. It's one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and they came out with the Healthy Powder. So I'm gonna use my baking brush. <laughs> this has coverage. I kind of created a little dark spot right there. This powder is too dark for me. Damn it. 
Why wouldn't I swatch the color? I am so dumb. I think I might see a soft, subtle glow on my face, but I don't know if it was there already or if it's this powder. Because my face looks glowy and a lot of the times when you apply powder on top of your foundation, it kills the glow completely because it's powder. I don't know. I'm going to get another shade and I'll get back to you on that. I bought this Essence bronzer brush from Ulta. I think it was like $3 or $2 and I'm going to use it today to bronze the skin. I bought the e.l.f. primer infused bronzer in Forever Sunkissed and I haven't tested this out yet because I've been trying out so many new bronzers. Like the new Milani Silky Matte bronzers are really, really nice. Here we go. I'm already pretty bronzed, but <laughs> it says that this bronzer is supposed to last a really long time on the skin because it's primer infused. And I wish I could test out the longevity for you guys in today's video, but it's 10, 19 p.m. So I can't do that. <laughs> but I am going to be testing this out a few more times, of course, before I do my updated what's new video. And I'll let you guys know if it is long wearing. But so far, I do really like this color. I feel like it has a really nice undertone. It's a warm bronzer, but it's not orange. It's not too terracotta-y. It has like a nice tanning, sun-kissed element to it. Oh, it's called Forever Sun-Kissed. So far, so good, so far, so good. Do you know how excited I am right now? Milani baked blushes are like some of the best blushes at the drugstore and these just take you back to OG YouTube. Milani's Luminoso was one of the most talked about blushes on YouTube. I feel right there with MAC Warm Soul. There wasn't a beauty YouTuber who wasn't talking about Milani baked blushes in 2012. There just wasn't. So I always keep these very near and dear to my heart and they just recently launched two new colors. This one is in the shade Pero Primavera and this one is Sunset Passione. Passione. Sunset Passione. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. I have been really loving blush recently. Like way more than usual. I never thought I would say that, but I am. One of you guys mentioned that I should apply it just a little bit higher on my cheek, that it would be a little bit more flattering for my face shape. And uh, homie, I agree. <laughs> I feel like once you told me that, it changed the game. Like why didn't I do this earlier? This color is really, really gorgeous too. This is the type of blush I've been wanting Milani to release in their baked blush line. It's such a pretty pinky nude that would go with literally anything. Oh my gosh, I love it and it has such a subtle glow. <laughs> For highlight, I'm gonna be using the new Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time. Now I am a little bit nervous because this one looks hella sparkly, but I do love the formula on these guys, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. Oh my god, so beautiful, so pretty. The undertone in this highlight is really, really pretty. You can kind of see it on my skin a little bit. I'm a little, I'm very fair at the moment, but when the light hits it, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful pinky golden glow. When you first look at this, you're like, wow, that's a pink highlight. But when you move it around, you really see that golden undertone shine through. And the more you dip your brush into this highlight, the more the pinky glitter goes away. It kind of looks like an overspray almost. It has a stunning golden reflex. Oh my god, it's beautiful, yes. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is a Makeup Forever 140 brush. I don't think it's worth the money, it's a little overpriced, but it was just the first brush that was right in front of me. Wow, stunning. I hope that's not limited edition, because that is beautimous. Okay, for eyes, honestly, I'm just gonna point and apply so we could speed through this part. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my pigment concoction here and with Fix Plus of coats, of coats, I'm going to apply this to my lid.
Okay, so obviously because I applied this pigment wet, it does take a little bit of time to start blending it into the crease. You want to take your time with it because obviously applying a pigment down can create a harsh line when it's wet. I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue from Too Faced. I'm going to lightly press this on the inner part of my eye and then add with my finger some of this pigment to really bring out the sparkle on the inner corners. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just tried out the Lash Full Mascara from Elsie. <gasps> oh my gosh. It made my lashes really, really long. And at first when I was applying it, I'm like, oh, okay. It's not the most volumizing mascara. It's definitely more of a lengthening one. But the more you build it up, the thicker your lashes get. And it is a mascara you have to build up. But I feel like it made my lashes look really long and thick. So I really, really like this. And these are what the finished eyes look like. I haven't tried any of the shimmers in this palette except for this one and I didn't really like it. But the mattes in this palette are really, really nice. Very, very pigmented. I really like the mattes in this a lot. And yeah, we are almost done. I just need to apply my lip. For lip liner, I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. I don't have a new lip liner to test out. For lipstick, I'm going in with this Sephora Melting Lip Clicks in the shade Caramel. I have recently really been into shiny lipsticks, so I have been buying a bunch of different ones to test out, and this is one of them. So, ooh, shiny. Oh, that feels nice, that feels nice. Oh, super creamy. I would definitely, normally, leave it right here but I just recently bought two new Buxom lip glosses. You guys know the Buxom full-on lip creams are some of my favorite glosses of all time. White Russian, the best. And when they came out with those primer infused blushes that you guys know I'm obsessed with now, they also came out with matching lip glosses. So I got Seashell Breeze and something Mykonos. I got two of the shades and I'm really excited to try on Seashell Breeze because I love me a good glossy nude. I mean, this lipstick is already nude and glossy, but this is a little warmer. Oh my, wait a second. Oh my gosh. These are pineapple, coconutty, suntan lotion scented. They do not have the minty scent it normally has. But I guess for this specific collection, they went with a tropical scent and oh my gosh. It smells exactly like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. Not as powerful though. Oh, so nice. Oh, and this feels so good. I forgot how much I love these freaking glosses. Okay, guys, so that completes this video. I thought it would be really fun to show you all of the pigments mixed together and then apply it on my lids. I didn't think it would turn out to be this color. I mean, I knew it was going to be dark, but I didn't think it was going to be so silvery. But I think it turned out pretty cool. I actually like this whole look. A lot of good products in today's video, a couple not so good ones. But definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below and definitely let me know what you would like to see from me next. But that completes this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And I'm not really going to prime right... Drop something. I never wanted anyone like this. Four corn, four corn sealer. Corn sealer. Wow. This color is really, really beautiful.
beautiful. Touch me once and you'll know it's true.